Today is all about installing this wire on a 1990 DSM. Now if you own a 90, you know that the 90 has a lot of differences between the 91 and up models. Uh, one instance is this clutch cut wire. It is made to run no lift to shift and ECM link and it is made to run off the cruise control switch uh, that's hooked up to the clutch pedal. On a 90 DSM that is switched to a 12 volt line um, and in a 91 plus models it is switched to a ground. So this wire will not work on a 1990 DSM. What you will need for this project is some wire, wire strippers, soldering iron, solder, flux, heat shrink, and you'll need a butt connector so that you can ground out one side of this switch. You will also need a multimeter to test your work once you're done. You could install this wire by just tapping into the stock harness and the stock plug that's on the switch, but what I decided to do was I went to the junkyard, I cut off a pigtail that goes to the cruise control switch. This is not the actual pigtail, this is only to illustrate uh, what I did. So this is the pigtail um, and what you will need to do is we're going to rewire this so that the ECU sees a switch to ground instead of a 12 volt line. The way we do that is we take one side of the switch, it doesn't matter which one, we'll hook a wire into it and then we'll use our butt connector and we'll solder this on, we'll solder this connection and we'll ground this out inside the car. We'll then take another length of wire, we'll solder this connection and we'll run this to the ECU pin 104. Now that almost makes a complete plug and play harness but what we want to do now is while I was at the junkyard I picked up uh, some ECU connectors and I just took a spare wire out um, and let me show you how to do that it's easy there's there's splitters in here and you you have to pull the splitter out which is this this little piece here you just pull it out and then once you pull that out you take a very small screwdriver that you get in uh, one of those eyeglasses repair kits and you stick it in between the bottom of the clip and the retainer that holds it in when you push down the plug will just slide right out so I took one of these out and I soldered it into this end so now I had a complete plug and play harness to plug into my car and let me show you how it all hooks up inside okay so you have to bear with me here this is the clutch pedal and if we follow the clutch pedal up you will see that switch there is at the back of the travel of the clutch pedal. That would be the starter switch, which you would normally have to push in to start the car in a manual. Now, if you look further towards the front of the assembly, right there, you will see another switch. This switch here is being pressed right now. When you let off, you see the little plunger come out. This is the cruise control switch. Now, when you unplug this and rewire it, you will lose functionality. When you push your clutch pedal in, your cruise control will no longer cut off. So you need to be aware of that. Okay, now this is the plug here that I went to the junkyard and snagged. And as you can see, there's one wire soldered in there. And there's also another wire soldered in on the black piece right here. This, this black side on mine, black and white, goes down. As you can see, it's right here. And it comes all the way down right here. And it's grounded out right there uh, by the fuse box. Now this other wire has a link soldered onto it it goes down behind my carpet runs across there and runs over to the ECU right there so by rewiring that switch now it is going to be switched when you push the clutch pedal in and that plunger comes out a ground is going to run through this line instead of 12 volts of power so now to get that to the ECU so that our wire will work we need to plug that in to wire number 104 104 is on the smallest connector and if you're looking at the this side of it it is the second one on the top left so that's the first one it's that second one right there on the back it is next to an orange wire now it's a black wire when it comes stock if you're not going to use a wire like I showed you to pull out of these connectors then you're gonna have to cut the stock wire and solder into it but in my case I soldered my wire into a spare one that I had I pulled the little separator out there I pulled the wire out of the back here it is just electrical taped it up for safety and then I plugged this uh, harness piece back into it and put the separator back in now that should complete the install 
of a clutch cut wire and I should be able to run no lift to shift after I make one adjustment inside of ECM link. Before you plug the power of your battery back up, you need to ensure that you test this with a multimeter. Make sure that you got the probe in the right um, pin hole, so pin number 104, and make sure you're testing for a ground. So in order to test this, we're going to simply need our multimeter. We're going to take our multimeter and we will set our multimeter to continuity. Turn it on. You want to touch the two together and make sure that it beeps. Now that you know you have continuity, you want to take the multimeter. You want to attach one side to a ground. And you want to attach the other side going into pin number 104. Now with that correctly hooked up, when we push the clutch pedal, you should hear a beep, an audible beep, to say that there's continuity between ground, and that'll mean that that pin is now getting a ground from the cruise control switch. So I push in on the clutch pedal, and it gets a ground. I let off, it stops. So that switch is hooked up correctly. Now that we have power back and know that that, that uh, wire was receiving ground, we plugged it back in, everything's reinstalled, uh, we're going to do one final test before we go out and try any pulls. Uh, you, you hooked your battery back up, you, of course you need to turn your key on to the on position. Um, and then you come over here and connect to link. Okay, click on ECU config. And then you'll see in the upper right hand corner there's a box that says enable clutch cut. This is already checked on my car because again it's already installed. You'll, you'll check this box and set your clutch cut limit to whatever you, whatever you want it to be. And then you'll start a log. Now when you start this log, you'll simply get rid of all the values. And then once you get rid of all those values, you will only want to see your clutch switch. Which is right here. That one line represents my clutch switch, and when I hit that pedal, you want to see that line drop to a zero when you let off one. Again, you can see it down here. It goes zero, one, and that's represented by the drop in the line there. So we know that we got a, a working clutch switch, and we know that that should operate uh, just as it's supposed to. So that's how you install the clutch cut wire on a 1990 uh, DSM.